Welcome to Internet Quality Academy. The channel is for the quality control engineer, site engineer, and the civil engineer who are working in the construction field. In this channel, we are dealing with anything and everything which is required to get success in the construction industry. Today also, I'm going to discuss about a very important topic that is comparison in between crusher sand or the crushed sand and the river sand. In India, usually use the river sand for a concrete, mortar, etc. But there is another source of the sand that is crushed sand, which is uh, made in the crusher by, by crushing the stones and aggregates. So today we will discuss what is the comparison and, and which one where you use and everywhere. So stay tuned until the end before to get the full information about the comparison between river sand and the crusher sand and if you are new in my channel kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification and today i have a special gift for you uh, so if you are stay tuned until the end i will give the gift for that one and without wasting time let's start that is first things what is the source as i discussed already that the crushed sand is manufactured by crushing rocks and stones in stone quarries so it is a artificial and it is a man-made but what is the river sand uh, on the other hand it is naturally occurring in river beds excavated from river beds or the river bank so it is natural process and the crushed sand is the artificial process and where we get the rivers as a river sand that is in the river bed or in the river bank so we need to excavate that one and on the other hand crusher sand will crush in the quarries and we'll get the sand and what is the relevant ice code for the sieving and everything that is both at 383 and 33 so um, to use concrete in the mortar this uh, comb sand either it is a crushed sand or the river sand they have to satisfy the criteria mentioned in the is 383 and wastage now it, if we are talking about the wastage this crushed sand already sieved in the required size and the less wastage but in the river sand is wastage is more so in Whenever we are purchasing crushed sand from the quarries, it is already saved in the required size and they are sending as per our requirement. So there is a less chances of the wastage. But in the riverbed, it is excavated and directly sent to the site. So when we need to seed and we need to wash, so there is a wastage percentage is more. And what is the particle size? In a river, uh, crushed sand is angular and rough. But the river sand is rounded and the smooth. And the particle size, both are is 0 0.075 millimeter to 4.75 millimeter, no oversized material. But finer, in, but in the river size, in is expected that oversized material is coming because it's a naturally deposited and naturally occurring. So there is a chances that the oversized material will be there whenever we are getting the river sand. But in the crushed sand, it is crushed according to the requirement and sieb and then it is sent. So no oversized material. And the specific gravity is typically around 2.65. It's ranging from 2.5 to 2.9. And the uh, river sand is there varies about the source because if the source is different, this uh, specific gravity also different. But it is generally lies on 2.3 to 2.7. Now another thing is silt content. It is a very much important thing. In the crusher sand does not contain silt because it is made artificially made and sieve. But the river sand has the contained silt because it is naturally depositing on the river bank, on the river beds. So it's contained silt and needs washing at site. So another activity also involving when we are using the river sand, river bed sand or the river sand that it needs to wash to enable to get the silt content. And if the silt content is more, then we cannot use for the concrete or in the mortar itself. But in the other hand, in the crushed sand, there's the silt content, there is nothing. So we can use if it is beneficial for the concrete as well as the mortar then moisture content is a control during manufacturing process nearly it's a zero but the river sand is naturally occurring and it's at the riverbed that moisture content can be variable so if it, the moisture content is variable that means we need to check the moisture content and we need to adjust the moisture or water content of the concrete or the mortar otherwise we will not get the desired concrete as per the requirement so it is very much important 
to check the moisture content whenever we are getting the riverbed sand because the sand has already moisture. So if we are adding um, water as per the mix design, then the free water content will be more. So we will not get the required desired or strength concrete. So it is very much important to check the moisture content because it's a variable. Then grading. This, this is well graded the crushed sand because it is crushed in a well controlled uh, environment and sieve and according to the size it is dispatched but the river sand it's a natural process is occurring in the riverbed and required grading depending on the source so it is uh, grading to be made according to the source and according to the availability then the compression strength is higher is because it is coming from the crust of a stone aggregate but in compared to crushed sand the riverbed sand is at the lower and the workability laser is but the river sand is more in the permeability is very poor for the crushed sand and for the river sand is less poor and what is the water absorption is two to four percent for the crushed sand and for the water absorption for the riverbed is 1.5 to 3 percent and what is the bulk density the bulk density of crushed sand is 1.75 gram per cc and for the river sand 1.44 percent city now bulkage it is another also important parameter for whenever you're selecting our sand or the fine aggregate for our concrete the bulkage for the trust aggregate is nearly zero it is no need for the bulkage correction but for the riverbed it is coming with the an artificial natural sources it has the water so the bulkage correction record if we cannot do the bulkage correction the erroneous result will give for the concrete and the mortar so another process or another steps is involving whenever we are using river sand in a concrete that the bulkage correction as well as the moisture correction as well as sieving grading everything is required at the side in order to get the right kind of concrete but on the other hand the crusher sand this bulkage correction is not there moisture is nearly zero grading is perfect wastage is not perf no there is no wastage and the cleaning also not required so it has the many facilities uh, over the river sand over the our the crusher sand so we need to choose our sand wisely whenever we are having the both the sand whether the crusher sand or the river sand then adulteration this less adulteration but high probability river sand adulteration with saline sea sa uh, in saline sea water sand in common so saline water can be present in the river uh, bed or if it is nearly in the coastal area but in on the other hand whether the crushed sand there is a less adulteration so that also we need to check whenever we are getting the riverbed sand that is there anything uh, saline uh, sea uh, creature is there or not then environmental impact less environmental impact compared to river sand may have environmental concern related to the dig, uh, dredging and extraction because the river sand it is extracting from the river so there may be a land uh, degradation or the landfill or if that is the possibility for the environmental impact but in the crusher sand it is less impact but whenever we are producing this uh, crusher sand the dust control is also required otherwise it will create the pollution the quality is a better quality uh, because it is uh, produced in a controlled environment in a controlled manner and artificially produced but it is quality differs because it's not the man uh, machine made it's a naturally process occurring uh, whenever it is deposited in the labor band so the quality can be differs and availability that is also a very much concern because we need uh, easily available material at our site in order to get our project done on the time in the case of crusher said it is easily available because it is coming from the uh, queries but in the riverbed is not available all out the year because the during monsoon the dredging or the river bedding is not possible at that time we not get the river bend sand and also it is limited by the geographical locations in some places of the areas we have no possibility or getting the river bed sand what we'll do that time we are only option to go for the crusher sand so 
these are the comparison and and according to the comparison we can easily find out that the crushed sand has edge over the river sand uh, it is easily available moisture content is less uh, it has the well graded and there is no oversized material and it has no bulkage correction so we have the uh, possibility then also that the availability is easily but in the river sand is the availability is a concern so these are the things uh, about cross sand and the river sand and the comparison and i hope you find it useful and if you find it useful kindly subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon so that whenever i upload a new video you will get immediate notification and as i show as i say that i have a gift for you i have a gift that there is a link is there you can book a one one on call to me which is completely free for your quality control career and i will uncover there what is the secret of the success of the quality control career and i'm waiting for your valuable comment so that from your valuable comment everybody will be benefited and if you want to know anything more about quality control and construction please let me know i will come with more content like this and thank you once again for watching me